when you're on stage, it is like, it's like being next to God. That's what it feels like, being next to God. Like, you're God's right hand, and hey, you know, and everybody's looking and they're enjoying it. But when you get off stage, life is so fucking real. <laughs> it's so shitty. Comedy for a lot of people is therapy. Comedians, by and large, it's like he could either be the funniest guy in the world or a mass murderer. <laughs> You know, it's like, I know guys who are so wrecked emotionally that you better thank God he's, you know, knows how to go out there and talk about this. If you are the supplier of laughter and joy, it's got to be coming from a, from a low place. And I, I literally act like I'm laughing at my own joke on stage because... I have to make people think I'm having a good time. So I crack a joke sometime and I say, ah. <laughs> but it ain't fucking funny to me. Jay, do you mind just moving a little bit down that? Down the sofa a little bit. If you, you didn't read the right or did you? Hear the, uh, hear the... You don't move right once he's seated. Left all day. You got to put him at that. <laughs> well, that's great. Jay Moore's, yeah, I bet. I'm a man, okay? I'm a man. Oh, right again. Buddy Hockey used to tell me, you gotta just peel the onion until it makes you cry. Why do you fucking get lost, voice in my head? Okay, just trying to help. I don't have a plan B. I have zero discernible skill. I can't do division, long subtraction, I get confused. But when you give me a mic, for some reason, I can do it. When we were kids, we were so stupid in New Jersey, we thought you got pregnant by peeing in each other's butts. <laughs> a lot of you right now are thinking to yourself, I must have missed a sentence or two. <laughs> or a segue. No, you haven't. Watching me do stand-up is like having a bird in your house. You open all the windows and doors and watch it go into a wall 44 fucking times and you go, When's he, when's he just gonna finish what he started? Is that the... Life uh, can be horrific, as we all know. And um, what is the point of being alive? What is the point of beauty? What is the point of getting up another day? Am I a person who needs to be heard? Hey, if you're worried at all, uh, sometimes people come up to me and say, oh, you're tremoring. You could take a, a beta blocker to stop that, uh, to which I have to say, uh, weakness is my brand. I went back to uh, AA two Wednesdays ago. I didn't drink, I didn't drug, but I was sick. I was a fucking mess. And it really goes to show you, like alcoholics and addicts, we are, we have defects of character. We're really defective people. We're sick. You know, it's a physical, mental, spiritual malady. I would go to a job, like Boys and Girls Club, I'd do a corporate show, and the feedback would be, is he on something? Nope. I was acting horribly, dry drunk. And then that turns into like a crippling, debilitating loneliness that turns into depersonalization where you question, at the risk of being committed, you can't really say this in public, like what's reality? I know my intention, I know my heart, I know how I feel, I'm happy to go there, I'm happy to be there. In my personal interactions, it happens all the time. But with stand-up, there's a hour and a half shelf life to the relationship. I'm not gonna annoy them. I'm not gonna let them down. I'm gonna blow their fucking, oh my God, he's the best. And then I get off stage right before the, he doesn't stop. Cause I don't stop.